Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to do some carbon fiber on the Skyline. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning guys. If you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the post notification bell to stay up to date with these projects. Let's get into it. Alright guys, you may have seen my forged carbon episodes. Um, these take ages to do because they're not level. There's doing these normal pattern the cloth is a lot quicker and you don't use as much resin so we're going to do the door handles so um, let's get the door handles off the skyline of the external door handles and we'll, um, we'll get some cloth onto them so the door handle you got a little grommet that I took off and we've got a um, torque bit in there. Looks like a T30. So we need to loosen off so we can get the lock out. So we can get the door handle out. <clears throat> Alright guys, we've got the door handles off. And these two caps here. So, most likely, I'm just going to send these down. And I'll do the, um, the cloth on this one too. So got the other one, pop the aluminium plate off it and um, send them down, get them both prepped. I'm actually going to shoot it with some uh, black paint because I'm very limited with my supplies at the moment and uh, yeah that'll be the base for the uh, carbon fiber so you can't see through to white. So we'll go ahead and start sending them down. Alrighty guys, scuffed up everything that I'm going to carbon fiber in this episode so I'm just going to hit it with some edge primer and with some black paint that I got for the base and we'll let that dry so we'll come back to that in say a day or so all right we've got some primer on there uh, we'll come back later tonight and shoot it with some black and then we'll let that sit overnight and tomorrow Hopefully tomorrow, we'll start with the uh, the carbon fiber. Alright guys, just shot all six pieces with black. It's actually flame proof black, so high temp. So hopefully uh, when I put the resin and stuff on it doesn't make it go all funny. Um, so tomorrow we will uh, start, I'll probably have, I'll have, I'll have to do a pattern first for the handles so I can wrap Come fiber around. I'm gonna have a join right down the middle so we can have both of them the same. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. If I'm just gonna cover it like this and then just drill out a hole and just have that inside edge there painted black. Or if I'm gonna push the carbon fiber in. If I push the carbon fiber in, I'll probably end up pulling some of the, the threads and it'll just form the, the weave. So maybe we'll just go flat and then later on we'll drill the hole. Uh, but yeah, um, somehow we've got to fill these up. But I'm pretty sure the, uh, the carbon fiber will go straight over them. No problem. Alright guys, I just shot the pieces again with some um, um, gloss black. It was sitting there the whole time, didn't even notice. Um, they did come out very flat with the, the flame proof black so I just went over it with the, the gloss so if you can see through it it's going to be a gloss and not a matte so you won't really notice it once the uh the clear's on it all right guys a couple of days later been pretty lazy with these carbon fiber door parts so I've done a pattern for the handles still need to do a pattern for these two and the internal door handle so we'll do that and then we can cut out the carbon fiber and I'm going to vacuum bag these so need to move reasonably quick alright guys I've cut everything out so I've got the zob sheet got that breather sheet got all the carbon got the bag ready so actually going to 
just do a little bit of resin so um, it gets a bit tacky I don't have any spray adhesive so um, I'll do a little bit wait for it to get tacky and then I'll put the, uh, the pieces on it's gonna be moving around too much so yeah let's mix up some and do like a little tack first layer and we'll put the cloth on all right so very thin coat you can tell it's like separating it's too thin um but that's okay that's just like a little tack um coat so we'll come back every half an hour or so and test it see how it is and um once it's tacky and uh doesn't leave anything on my finger then uh we'll start to put the carbon fiber on all right boys we are tacky enough for my liking i don't want to go any further because it's not flat so we don't want to have a wavy um weave so um i'm gonna mix up some resin and uh we'll start getting the carbon on hopefully it works out all right with the interior handles because um we've got those holes in there that had clips in them hopefully the carbon fiber doesn't get sucked down into them maybe all right so we've wrapped um the first layer i think i might actually just stick with the first layer um because i've got that black um behind it's okay see how it turns out if it's not okay then uh we'll we've already cut out the second layer so it might be a bit easier just to do the single layer remember it's just skinning i'm not actually making a piece so it's just cosmetic Right, so the resin has degassed. So we're gonna get some onto the piece and then we'll put the lead cloth and then the absorbent cloth and we'll put it into the bag. We should get all six pieces in there, pretty big. Um, I might need to grab some more of this to chuck in there. But other than that, we're nearly done. So I only got my door handles done because just out of nowhere it started to get really hot smoking. Just got so much temperature into it. It's never happened before. I mixed it normal. So we'll do another batch. We'll get these four done, wrap them up. We've got the door handles already in the bag, not vacuumed, but everything else is done to them. I was getting freaking hot. Maybe I just took too long because there was 120 grams in there. Just the, the volume of it create enough heat to make it smoke and really catch on fire. That's all hard and yuck. Alright, be quick with this. So I don't want the one the handles to go hard. Alright. Yeah. So my next door neighbour could get me some supplies, so that's why I'm doing this. Might have been saying that I couldn't get them for a while. I'll leave these parts in overnight. These are well and truly tacked on, so that's why I'm brushing on as well, guys. So don't be too concerned. vacuum will pull this all into shape hopefully <laughs> and be annoyed if those handles stuff up They're the main things most of this resin will probably get pulled out of this piece My scissors, damn it. I 
mix up way too much. I didn't need that 120 that caught on fire nearly. Alright. Let's get these all wrapped, double wrapped. I've got heaps left. So this will absorb excess resin through, which you can see it already has. Then I wrap it, this will absorb, well, this doesn't stick to the piece, but it will absorb it. Just wrap it up and we're going to stick it in the bag. The next piece. Alright, boys and girls. Oh, boys, there are no females that watch this video this uh, channel. Um, we have vacuum sealed. Hopefully it holds vacuum. I'll come out later tonight, make sure it's still good. Um, fingers crossed these handles are all good and hopefully the carbon hasn't shifted. Um, I did have to go back in and reposition this one, which is the driver's side one. But yeah, hopefully the stays vacuumed. Hi right, boys, it's been a couple of hours and we are still under the vacuum, so that is good. So I'm actually going to finish this episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll catch you next episode, or the next one on these, where we'll be getting them out and finishing them off. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next episode. Bye.